Okay, okay. I look like a wreck. And I got raccoon eyes and stuff. But I wanted to tell you what happened today uh, before it was tomorrow. You know what I mean. So this is what happened today. Uh, as some of you know, today's my birthday. You can see the balloons back there. Um, well, today was like family day because Friday I went out with a bunch of my friends for dinner. Saturday I went out with a friend to go to the movies. And then Sunday, my actual birthday, I spent with my parents and my seven-year-old niece. So... We went to church. It was a special request. I knew my dad couldn't say no um, because it was my birthday. Um, and then we went to Applebee's to get something to eat. And then we were going to see Zoolander too. We got our tickets. We got in there. We saw about 20 minutes of the movie and then these like these lights start going off in these flashing lights start going off in the theater and it's like this the movie stops and this lady's voice this recording comes up and it's like um we have been alerted that there is an emergency in the building Please evacuate through the exits at the front. Uh, use the stairwells. Do not use the elevator. So, I'm just like, okay. So, we, me and my parents and my niece were kind of like sitting there. And, um, we like followed everybody out once everybody was already like in the bowels of the mall you know um and and so we're just like sitting there in like the back back hallways of the mall like if you know what I mean like the inner the inner halls of the mall like where only the staff are allowed or whatever and so they all these people are just like passing us by and um like leaving down the stairs and uh I did, like we're just sitting there like is there somebody going to come out and tell us what we're supposed to do? And, um, so only one person offered to help. Um, he was like, he was just a normal dude that was watching a movie. He wasn't, he didn't work there or anything. He was like, do you need help, like, getting her down the stairs? Like, he was going to try to... Uh, lug my 400 pound wheelchair down the stairs that's that's how much it weighs without me in it um, and my dad's like no no we're just gonna wait and see what happens and he's like okay okay man but we're like thanks thanks and um, so after after like five minutes, we are literally the only people in the hall. And we're just like, we don't know what to do. We don't know what this emergency is. Like, and I'm freaking out because the first thing I think is there's a dude in here with a gun and he's killing people or a group of dudes. That, that was my first thought. And, um, because you know that that's been happening more and more, so I just started, like, freaking out, and I'm just like, 
we just start walking, or they walk, I roll, um, down the, these halls, like, my dad's checking every exit stairwell to see if there's, like, um, an elevator back there, too, along with the stairs, and, um, we go and go and we don't find anybody, and as we're going along, my seven-year-old niece keeps saying, like, I think we're gonna die. I think we're, I think we're dying here, like, and she just kept saying that, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, well, some, well, one of you at least just take her out, like, so that at least she's safe, because we had no idea what was going on, and so she's freaking me out even more, and I'm kind of like wanting my family to leave so that at least they be safe. Like, I don't, w I wouldn't want anything to happen to them because they were waiting around for me because I'm in a wheelchair and I can't, you know walk up or down the stairs so I'm just like you guys just go please like like just and my all the while my niece she keeps going I think we're gonna die but like she was saying it like nonchalantly like like maybe she didn't believe it but she was just saying it because she thought it was funny and she it was not funny. I just kept, like, oh, uh, all I kept thinking about was, like, like, this is the day I'm gonna have to, like, take a bullet for, like, one of my family members because I would let them hide behind me in my chair and, uh, because their lives are much more meaningful. Um, I didn't know I was talking this long. Okay, sorry. So, um, so finally we get to the end of the hall, and it's the last door. My dad opens it, and we're kind of waiting behind a corner, and he just, he yells, Danielle, come here. And so we go over, and we're back in the lobby of the cinema and the guy's like uh what are you guys doing like why are you still here and um we were like well what what were we supposed to do like there's no elevators and my dad like went off he's like how can you not have an emergency plan in place for people in wheelchairs like if it would have come down to it, I would have flung her over my shoulder to get her out of here, but, like, seriously, like, what is, what kind of establishment is this? He was so mad. And I was, too, because, like, that was scary. And the whole thing was, like, they thought that a sprinkler burst in, on the first floor or something, and so that was like the big emergency and it was nothing but like it scared me to death and it made me like it made me realize that like when it comes down to it you know you want to be brave and all this stuff and I was trying to be I was trying to make my family leave but no matter what, like, you're still scared. You're still so scared. And, um, I know it's stupid because, like, nothing even happened, but, like, just thinking about it, like, still kind of freaks me out because, like, if it had been something really serious, I wouldn't even know. <laughs> like, they wouldn't have left me, and we all could have 
got him killed if it was a fire or a gunman or, you know, what have you. But, um, yeah, that's what happened today. Um, I think we might be trying to see the movie tomorrow since, uh, since we did not get to see much of it today. And, um, yesterday I was supposed to see Deadpool, but instead I saw, um, How to Be Single. And I'm going to do a review of that tomorrow, possibly, if I remember. Um, so, if you give a shit, wait for that. And, uh, like, subscribe, or don't live your life. Peace out.